jazz. Jazz is music. Jazz is music that everybody shares from different perspectives. You know, there's this tendency to believe that jazz is is the, is the kind of music that is for intellectuals. No, yeah. it's not the music for intellectuals. It's the music for the people. Yes, yeah. by the people. <laughs> I've got Sipo Sticks Mabus. Shigisha, you know what I mean? Shigisha. That's part Jabba of so jazz. Eto. That's part of jazz. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you've been in the game for. God has blessed you so yeah. for so many years. Over 56 years. C can you just highlight a little bit what what you went through, and especially when after this COVID? You know, being in the music industry for over 56 years is yes. is, um, is a bit challenge. Yes. Yes. But at the same time, there's a lot of fulfillment around it. Okay. You know, the satisfaction, the joy, mm -hmm. and uh, for me to have been in a space where I never imagined that there could not be music in this country. <laughs> because of a some obscure disease that we don't even know was obviously a travesty to lifestyles of people and uh, to think that finally jazz has come to the to the full and uh, the loyalty the loyalty of people is still prevalent today is very important and i'm 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 just so proud to be associated with Team music man mm -hmm. and for them <laughs> to have given us so much mm -hmm. office mm -hmm. and i believe that they are probably the only people yeah, most that can bring a, a joy of jazz back into its life so, so from from uh hostix Mapuse, what do we expect special on this year what is the lineup you have any gigs well you know the lineup for me is quite impressive yes. <laughs> even though there are some of the musicians i've never met before oh, yeah. i've never heard some of their songs yeah. but there are some of those that whose music i've heard yeah. and i've interacted <laughs> with and i know that south africans yeah. in particular team music men would not bring people yeah, who are going to disappoint yes. <laughs> and, and it's 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 an you never it, disappoint no they will never disappoint you yeah. you know They'll make sure that people who are on the program are people that are going to make a difference and profile and highlight this music, which we so much crave. So lastly, uh, what is it you want to see change, especially when it comes to uh, this gen jazz music in this country? Well, we want to see younger people yeah. coming into okay. the fray, you know? Yeah. There, there are many. Yes. I mean, uh, the counties are here. Yeah. You know, uh, there's quite a number of young yes, musicians, yes, yes, uh, yes. Mandisi, but we need more. Oh, yes. You know, we need more young people yes. to interact with this music and make sure that uh, there's a lot of celebration around it. Okay. Because if the young people don't embrace it, then it will never grow. Yes, yes. It is the young people that are going to take it and make it grow beyond where it is at the moment. Okay. Hello, good people of the Legendary. A powerful man, you've been doing wonders there. <laughs> and for the fact that we, after two years, we come from uh, the COVID, what is your take on the joy of jazz, special this year? Um, joy of jazz is coming back fresh. Yeah. I believe it's coming back fresh. It's coming back with new, um, new uh, exhibition yes. for people to see what actually this great festival, yes. this great brand has created <laughs> over the years. Yes. Yeah. So, in terms of. Uh, uh, what you bring in the table because it's been in a game for years and years and they've been doing great stuff so this year what is that you bringing special on the table i'm going to bring something different yeah <laughs> a band that is a, a little bit bigger than okay. usual okay. than what people know and for the first time i will be bringing on stage a collaborative artist oh. that i'll be working with um, okay. for a program that is purely purely designed for yes. the standard bank joy of jazz okay. so in, in terms of uh, bringing special young people because we I think we need to involve uh, uh, and and have, have have young people special yeah. in jazz music yeah. what is your take on that especially you I think it also can play a part in terms of, of grooming them my band has been a, a, yeah. a school yeah yeah, I, yeah. I'm, not one, I'm not one for that question my yeah. band has been a school yeah. for more than 20 years yeah. um, artists have been turned out and groomed out of my band yes. to this day yes. there have been artists who've been coming out of my band yes. so the same way that you saw the approach of uh of, of, of charlie parker the same yes. way you saw the approach of miles davis yes 
um, I used my band <laughs> as a school where yeah. other musicians can grow from. Are you giving you giving back? I mean, that's yeah. that's beautiful. So so so, so I, I can't even back. ask. Yeah. I can't <laughs> answer the question about what do I feel about developing. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 what did you expect this year? Uh, different from uh, from the just uh, uh, festival. Well, I, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, new, new, fresh ideas. As yep. I say myself, yes. Yes. for the first time, mm. I'm bringing a new, a new type of a performance, Beautiful. a collaborative performance with another artist and a bigger, bigger okay. band. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping to see. Actually, what I want to see, I want to see one of the, some of the younger generation. Yes taking the forefront because when we came in yes. when we came into the joy of jazz when i came in in 2000 um i came straight hard yes. i came real hard yeah um we were put, put there with the the, the international artists but this, yes. i remember i was actually built at the same stage with, with the late ronnie jordan oh, that's, that's and i brought i brought it home and so <laughs> i I'm, I'm looking forward you to never disappoint in no i'm looking either. forward to young yeah. young generation yes. doing that yes, yes. 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 As young musicians, I remember when we were starting in 2006, 2007, we always saw this concept. Uh, it was happening in September, we Arts Alive, and they used to call us Sese Skolwe. Uh, we always wanted to participate in it, and years later, uh, we became popular, our songs became popular, I always wanted to do it. Um, and now, 15 years later, it's now we are invited on Joy of Chairs. It's it's like it's been an inspirational concert. It's been a big stage for us. We are very glad to be. that became part. I remember the other stages that we wanted to be, where we had Abo Kefas, we had Abo, Abo Dad Kefas, we had Abo, Abo Dadu Jonas Kwang and everything. So for us, it has been the journey that we wanted to live with. So for us to be part of this, to us is like, a, thank God we're in the right lane of what we always wanted to do. I mean, yeah. your music is beautiful, your living and, 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 and you, you guys didn't have a change in terms of um, I think we've been in the industry for so long. We've seen Kwaito coming in. Uh, now it goes down. There was Afro pop time. There was gom time, and now there's my piano. Uh, so it's it's you can't be jumping. Yeah, you must stick to your own lane. We're trying so hard to master what we are doing. We're trying to lead. Uh, we love Afro pop. We love soul music. It's us. We talk about love. We talk about hope. That's where we're staying in. And as Zinye, we can just feature on the others, but we're sticking on our lane. Hello, good people. I've got this young, vibrant, powerful musician. Bong, can you tell me the, the reasons of us? Getting back after COVID, having uh, the joy of this, the, the importance of that. Um, it's very important. I think it's yeah. not only a, a signature yes. event in, in, in Africa. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. even say South yes. African yeah. Africa. It's one of the most iconic festivals. If yes. you go overseas, yeah. um, a lot of international artists will tell you that yes. the best experience they've always had yes. when it comes to the iconic music festivals yeah. is definitely the joy of jazz. So, so uh, after this COVID, what is that you want to see changing, especially when it comes to this genre of jazz? I think I think it can be a little bit more inclusive. I yeah. think I yeah. think there's there's a lot of youngsters that are now um, really about yeah. quality music, yeah. jazz, um, and, and and I think um, I would I'd love to, to believe that now there's yeah. there's a chance for us to yeah. to get more involved, yes. there's more artists to be you yeah. know to be a part of, of not only the genre but yeah. to be a part of the movement of um, sustainable music. Yeah.